Hi there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, I'm Jeff Kleiber. And of course, we all know hockey has a lot of skating in it, right? And I've had fans, coaches, and skaters come up to me, players, say, why don't you utilize the channel to help us be better skaters on the hockey rink? And I'm, duh, that's a great idea. In fact, I played hockey for nine years. In the first nine years of my speed skating career, I did them both, and then I chose speed skating as my career and went on to skate on two Olympic teams and, and World Cup teams and coached uh, as well at the Olympic level. However, back to the point. The, the fundamentals that we have in speed skating, especially long track speed skating, well short track too, can translate to the ice for hockey players. Of course, bottom line, if you're faster, you're going to be more effective as a player. How do you do that? Solid fundamentals. Skating position, timing, pressure, just like speed skating. But then you've got to go further. Ab ability to keep your pressure under your body weight not straddling, not being in the middle, not pushing out to the side. You want to move your body forward. Look at Paul Coffey. That guy's a master at this. He moves his whole body forward. Probably the best skater in hockey history. Maybe Sergei Fedorov, maybe Ivan Kornway even. But uh, lots of great skaters we're going to analyze. But you have to drive forward through the push. Not push to the side and not set your skate down and push and slap. Don't do that. You can do that even on hockey skates. It doesn't matter. The ability to adjust direction on the fly, you have to be able to do that. That takes agility, core work, lots and lots of stuff and drills. And we'll share those with you and I'm sure you already know them. Endurance. Lots of shifts peter out in the third period. Don't make that mistake. You have to be well trained to be a fast skater all through the game. Anticipate the opponent. Where, where will he be in two seconds? Where will she be in two seconds? You have to know your opponent and you have to know where you're going to go. That will give you good force and that will give you good, good commitment to your direction. So those are obviously wheeling, pivoting, all that stuff, using the puck, using the stick, and scoring goals. But the skating part is a big deal. And sometimes it's neglected. I'm not saying all the time. And recent in the last 20 years, it has been come more to the forefront because speed on the ice, especially on the Olympic size rink, is a big deal. Strategy is dependent on speed. So what we're going to do here is explore and examine the best hockey players, best skaters in hockey ever. I mentioned Paul Coffey. He's going to be right off the bat. Sergei Fedorov, uh, Pavel Bure. We're going to analyze him. Bobby Orr, the great. Yvonne Cornway, way back to the 60s and 70s. So many great skaters. We're going to look at them and depict and isolate and deconstruct what they do so you can do it with 20 pounds of pads on when you're dodging people and trying to score goals. That's what we're going to do with Speed Skating Deconstructed, the hockey side of this channel. So I welcome you to watch and I hope to share things that help you become a better skater on the hockey rink. Whether you're a male or female hockey player, it doesn't matter. We want to help you. So we'll talk to you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed. Hockey players, tune in. We'll be there for you. Later, skaters.